Shalom, Shalom, it's the brother Yahweh Shapat coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Allah Yahweh by Hashem, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Um, I'm going to start off in Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter. I'm going to start from the top. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. A good name is better than precious ointment and the day of death than the day of one's birth. So, you know, and I'm going to probably entitle this, should we be celebrating our birthdays or should we be celebrating at all? You know, um, and the answer to that question is no. You know, as you hear, as you see it right here, you know, um, on this side, you know, while the kingdom, kingdom of heaven is not set up, while we're not in power, while Yahweh Shah is not in power, you know, first and foremost, you know, he hasn't um, ultimately put Esau's kingdom under him. You know, that hasn't happened yet, but it will happen very, very soon. And until, until we get out of captivity, man, we ain't got shit to be celebrating. You know what I'm saying? We in these defiled bodies. These bodies are weak. You know, um, <clears throat> we still subjugated to uh, Esau's rules and regulations. So but technically, this man still rules over us. We're still in captivity. You know, so what are we celebrating, man? And, uh, hey, hey, you know, you got to think, man. The scriptures is telling you. And, and Jake, Jake, you know, two-thirds of our people ain't into the scriptures. You know, but those of us who are in this truth, man, you know, we don't celebrate our birthday. We're not inviting everybody to a fucking party and buying a cake and doing none of that shit, man. You know, you might see a brother get dressed uh, like they do any other day and say, you know what, man, the white how about some y'all shot for another year around the sun? You know, uh, you know, keeping it humble, man. It's nothing wrong with that, you know, but as far as you celebrating and, you know, if somebody tell you happy birthday, man, you ain't got to get into the scriptures with them, man. Just say thank you. You know what I'm saying? But um, as far as you celebrating and all of that shit, man, that's that's going off. You know? And you know, you we, you got to use wisdom. Like, say somebody buy you something. The Lord put the spirit on somebody to buy you something for your birthday that uh you might have had needed, man. Hey, take it, man. Tell them thank you. You know what I'm saying? The water, you know? You know, ultimately, hey, hey the Lord put the spirit on that person and, hey, I really needed this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you know it's it's ways uh it's ways around uh, uh certain things, but like I said, as far as us full blown celebrating our birthdays, that's going off. You know, it's hey, on this side, the day of your death is the is better than the day of your birth, cause you born into hell, man. You know, Jeremiah said, Cursed be the day wherein I was born, you know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. That's the spirit that we in. You know, um, brothers get together. You know, you have you might have a drink every so often or whatever, man. And, um, you know, but as far as like being in that celebratory spirit, you know, the scriptures tell you that uh, surely uh, a w oppression maketh the wise man mad. You know, hey, we we understand what's going on, man. You know, and 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 we increasing in knowledge is increasing our sorrow. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to have fun, you know. And that's 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 pretty much what I'm gonna read. I'm gonna I'm gonna read into you know Salakia for going on a rant. This is Ecclesiastes uh, seven and two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. You know what I'm saying? So it's better for you to be sorrowful than for you to be in a fake, jo joyful, jovial spirit. You know? Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? If we're in the house of mourning. Those of us who are in this truth, we in the house of mourning. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We in the house of mourning right now. So, uh, you know, uh, it ain't, you know, hey, man, hey, it's a car just rolled by, man, you know. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to love them Northern Kingdom brothers, man. Hey, we all, it, it, you know, it's some beef between uh, the Southern and Northern Kingdom, you know, in certain aspects. But, you know, the Lord going to quell all of that bullshit between the tribes, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, those are our brothers, man. 
you know, and not to get into a whole nother topic, but, you know, you got fucking niggas out here, man, that don't understand the truth. You know, the Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom, we were, we are still one, man. Those are our brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? So any, any Israelite camp out there that's telling you that, uh, you know, the, the, the so-called Mexicans or the so-called Hispanics, you know, from whatever respective tribe they from, if they not Israel, they going the hell off, man. And you need to stop listening to them, you know? But, uh, yeah, not to not to go on a rant. But like I was saying, we in the house of mourning right now. You know, two-thirds, hey, they in, a, they, they in a joyful spirit right now. They lively on this side. You know, and the Lord is giving a lot of these niggas they consolation on this side, you know? So when all hell breaks loose, the Lord ain't going to be dealing with you niggas, man. He not going to lay a help. He not going to reach a hand out to help you. He not going to hear your cries. Your prayers will not be heard, man. You know, and in the kingdom of heaven, you not going to get the things that, uh, you know, the hopeful elect and the one third are waiting on, being patient for. You not going to get that. You getting your prize on this side now. Will you, will you be born into the kingdom? You know, uh, will you be a ruling over the heathen? And you know, yeah. But you know, it's it's <clears throat> it's gonna be a difference between a regular Israelite and the elect and the one third in the kingdom of heaven. You know. So if you get your consolation on this side and you happy on this side, don't expect to be born into the kingdom and not have to bear that shame, cause you're gonna have to bear that shame for a little while. The scriptures tell you that. You know. Um, it says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Hey man, and then we, you know, brothers, we we mourn amongst each other, man. You know, we we we, you know, um, suffer with each other. You know, you know, and, and uh, I'm gonna keep reading. Verse five: It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. You know, so we listen to music, you know, Jake like a little music here and there, you know. Um, but although we do, you know, it's better for you to, you know, hey, man, it's better for you to be into this truth than for you to be into anything else. Ain't nothing wrong with brothers listening to music. You know, some brothers are into music, making beats or writing lyrics or whatever. You know, me, myself, I like to write, get some things off my chest every once in a while, but I'm not going to you know, pursue a rap career, you know, that's that, that'll just be foolish, man. But, you know, um, hey, pretty much music, the daughters of music have been brought low as a recent. This, all this music is shit, man. You know, you got Eve rapping about, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you got Eve rapping about uh, her privy parts. You got Jake rapping about fucking adultery and Lord knows what else. Hey, man, music is done on this side, bro. You know, we don't even know what real music is technically because, you know, it, it you know, um, hey, hey, Jake ain't out here playing on instruments, man. Jake ain't out here, you know, you, you know, that's not being pushed. What's being pushed is this trash ass music that pushes that demonic vibration on our people and keeps them in a slumped uh, state of mind, man. Keeps them in a low, a, a, a low mind state. You know, and they, they showed you that and uh, they cloned Tyrone. You know, Esau weaponized, has weaponized music, man. So, you know, hey, you catch me, I listen to it every so often, man. I try to go for something smooth, though. You know, all that bullshit about Jake killing each other and all of that, man, I try to stay away from it as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it says, uh, I'm, a, I'm skipping down to verse 7. So this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. You know, so, hey, that's that's the spirit that we in, man. You know, we are wise men through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And oppression, the oppression that we see around us makes us mad. You know, and where it says uh, a gift destroyeth the heart. Hey, that's why you shouldn't take bribes. That's why you, you know, Hey, look at these other camps out here, man. I'm going to use them as an example. They took a gift from the federal government. A lot of these camps are under that 501c3. You know, and if you don't know what that is, have, Google it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, because they took that gift, hey, the Lord took the Holy Spirit from a lot of these men, man. 
That's why they teach, uh, you know, these wayward doctrines. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why they teach, you know, things like, uh, what's, what's one of them? The hell doctrine. You know, uh, that's a big thing right now. You know, if you know what you know, man, hell is the ground. You walking on hell. You know, hell is the grave. There is no, when the scriptures say, you know, uh, you, 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 when the scriptures speak about you going down into hell, that just means you going down into the ground, into the uh, the uttermost, I mean, to the under parts of the earth. There is no hell, man, where Satan is torturing people, man. You know, and like I say, that's another lesson. You know, Lord willing, they, I might try to try and uh, make that my my next lesson, actually. So, yeah, but um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. You know, we're not supposed to be in that over happy spirits, you know, because right now we're we're uh, mourning. But hey, when Yahweh Shah comes back and puts everything in order, and when we start to see more and more the decline of this place, we gonna be joyful. We gonna have we gonna you know what I'm saying sing for joy, you know. Hey man, you know, right now it ain't we 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 suffering and we dealing with it. But you know, joy is coming, man. You know, um you know, the Lord is going to wipe all tears away from our eyes, from our eyes. You know, we just got to be patient. You know, and understanding, you know, why we catch the hell we catch, man, is because we went off. You know what I'm saying? So we uh basically hey, we taking our punishment right now. You know? And those of you who refuse to suffer, now you're going to cry and mourn later. You know, hey, Lord willing, this is edifying. This is an impromptu lesson. You know, um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. You know, uh, hey, again, all praise and honor and glory is due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, for putting the spirit on me to do this lesson. Double honest again to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. You know, and until the next one, I say Shalom.